Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yvette with Yvette's Junk Journal Shop. And today's video, we're going to look at some beautiful journals by Barb Plude. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, you can find all these journals on my Kofi shop. That's K-O-F-I under Yvette's Junk Journal Shop. So I'm just going to move a couple of these aside here so that we can have some room to look through these beautiful journals. So let's take a look at this first one here. Let me continue to move these over. All right, our first journal here looks like a fabric cover. It's got a wrap around closure on it. It's got some uh, fabric ruffle down the edge there. This looks like some kind of a linen or canvas. Feels like linen to me, I could be wrong. There's a button here on the front that's the closure. So that just undoes like this. And the journal opens up like that. Again, I have these in the way, so let me move those over. All right. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, so this one is called Down on the Farm. Fabric covered file folder, six inches by nine, three signatures, 138 pages. And she has um, digitals from Lindsay Zenor at nevermorecreation17.com. So let's go ahead and take a look in here. We've got a fabric pocket in the front there. And some coffee dyed paper. Sounds great. A little bit of ephemera in a double pocket here. More coffee dyed paper. This is a little belly band there. This looks like some eco dyed paper here. So very much a country farm journal. Beautiful images. Lots of fun spots here. So this I think would make a great recipe journal. Um, I like to use journals that aren't necessarily screaming kitchen <laughs> um, for recipe journals. And I think this would be great to just, you could clip them on there, you could write them on the pages, and then this would just look really cute on your shelf in your kitchen. So I think that's a great idea for this journal. You could also use it uh, to put photographs in or a traveling journal. But I think a, a recipe journal would be really cute for this one. That's just my opinion. Use it how you like. I love all these eco dyed pages that she's put in here. Those are really pretty. Nice touch throughout the journal. And those signatures are sewn in. Again, there are three signatures and they are all sewn in to the journal. Let me put that back in there so I have that. So there's that one. Let's take a look at this next one. This is a little one. It's got a wraparound button on there with a, a string for a closure. It's covered in this pretty white lace here. And wait a minute. There we go. It's got a little applique heart inside. It's called Sweet. That's a great name. It fits <laughs> four and a half by six and a half, three signatures and 60 pages. It's got this cute little charm here on the end of the, of the tie. And she's got all these little different sized pages in here with a little bit of lace. Just a very, I think sweet's a great name for this. It's got a sweet little look to it. Little tags there, a little collage spot. So various size pages. This would be really fun to just pop in your purse and take with you, write down thoughts as you have them. Hopefully good thoughts, right? <laughs> and uh, all the little pages here, you can just add in your thoughts as you go along about your day, maybe a list you could put on there things that you need to do today. I like all the different size pages in there. And there's that one that's called Sweet. Oh, drop the paper. Definitely have to keep those all together so I don't lose those. 
and then this just ties around like this and that's how that closes let's take a look at the next one here looks like it's fabric covered with lace on it it is chipboard based or maybe a book we'll find out in a minute collaged up on the back This one is called Pink Floral, chipboard fabric covered, six inch by eight and a half, three signatures, 148 pages. And she said she can't remember uh, where she got the uh, digitals from. So we'll just look through. And if you are watching and you recognize the, the digitals in here as your own, or you know what shop they came from, you can go ahead and comment in the description box. Uh, other artists, We'll see that and like to know maybe where that came from. So she's got some gesso on this page here so you can write on it. Cute little fold up pocket there. So we're not gonna look at every single page but this journal card has some stitching around it. This one as well, machine stitching. So lots of florals, a little bit of messy stitching. I like that. Only in the junk journal world can you say messy stitching and it's a compliment, right? <laughs> so a little pocket here. I think this one flips up as well. That's a really cute idea. Great sound to the pages as we flip through it here. It's a really pretty layout there. So all the digital pages in here look like they are double sided. So it looks like she printed something on the back of each one as well so that you have, you don't have a blank page there on the back. That's really nice. These are cut out here and here as well. And then she's sewn it on and left the stitching on the back side of the page. That's a really cute idea. Little buttons on there for an accent. Magazine pages, book pages, dictionary. That's a really cute journal. So again, that is called Pink Floral. Tie that back up. And let's go ahead and look at our next journal here. It's got a uh, lace tie on there, a little bit of vintage lace down the side. It's got a tag on here, three signatures fabric covered. This one's called Lacy Florals, fabric covered repurposed book, five and a half by nine, three signatures, 128 pages. My Porch Prints and Emma Parrish Artist are the digitals she used in this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. She's got a journal card in the front there. Looks like music page, dictionary page. She's used this pretty lace, which she used for the tie, all along the edges of the pages here. Not on all of them, but on a lot of them. And it looks really nice. Pulls that all together. So as you flip through, you can see that throughout the journal on the edges of the pages. It gives a nice finished look to the journal and a little bit of cohesiveness. There's a fabric flip here with that same lace across the top. So some journals call for mixing it up and other ones like this that are, you know, lighter colored pastels really look good when the, when you have something consistent throughout. So just a little tip for you if you're into journal making or getting inspired by Barbara's journal here. And these, these uh, journal cards, most of them are machine stitched. That's a nice touch as well. Gives a really homey feel to the journal. 
So again, lots of places for writing or adding your own touches with just a little bit here and there of her own touches. That makes it nice. So again, that's Lacy Florals. Put the tie back on while I'm thinking about it. We have three more here from Barb. She's been busy. So the next journal here is a pretty peach tie on the front with a floral peach uh, and peaches on the cover. Three signatures. This is like a soft linen, and then she's done some inking around the edges to give it a really worn look. And it's got a worn feel to it, a very soft touch to it. Um, just peachy, cereal box covered with fabric, six by nine, three signatures, 120 pages. And Janie B. Journals is the digital in here. So she's got that really pretty peach color. Looks like it's going to be throughout with the little touches of yellow. And that adds just the right touch to it. This is a little over the page uh, journal card there. Really soft pastel colors. Some music pages and then she printed out the digital on the music page it looks like. Maybe it came that way, I'm not sure. Nope, there's the back of it. So she's printed that out on the music page. We've got some ledger paper. little touches of that green and yellow really pair well with that peach color throughout the journal. A little pocket in the back there. So again, that's called Just Peachy. Tie that back up. And it looks like our next journal might be a nature themed. Let's take a look at that. So she's collaged up the front here. This is look like a repurposed book. She's got metal corners on it. A little, um, I never remember what they call that. Anyway, it's on there. <laughs> Burlap, that's the word. I knew it would come to me. Um, woodland Walk. Repurposed book cover, six inch by nine and a half, three signatures, 172 pages with digital kits by Nevermore Creations 17. So we've got beautiful, uh, looks like eco dyed pages here. These flowers are actually, you can feel them. Uh, so they're like dried flowers on there. A little bit of burlap there. I have to remember that name. So this uh, kit here is. Um, nature's diary and i commissioned lindsay to make this kit my son at the time was doing uh, street poetry in new orleans and i wanted something that had typewriter nature and music because that kind of tells about his life and um, i'm making him a journal for his uh, time in new orleans and i wanted a journal kit that had that in there she also has in here some edith holden pages and this again is from that same journal kit. And you can get that from Lindsay in her shop. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description box. So that was a um, collaboration be between Lindsay and I to come up with the pages for that kit. And I've used it quite often in making my journals. Here's one here from that same kit. And Lindsay and I, we worked on probably, I think, it was about eight or ten different journal kits that are in her shop that I had an idea and couldn't find um, exactly what I needed. And she was really good at putting it together and pulling my, my ideas into a journal kit. This is uh, Poetry of Trees, I believe is the name of that one. And here's Edith Holden again. She's got a little bit here and there throughout. Again, that's from the kit. And here's two more pages with those pretty dyed flowers on there. That adds a nice touch to the journal as well. 
little side pocket there. So that is Woodland Walk. So if you are into a nature themed journal, this is the one for you. Um, you can pick this up in my shop. That's Yvette's Junk Journal Shop on Kofi. That's K O F I. Um, U.S. shipping is $6.95 no matter how many items you purchase. And if you are not in the U.S. and you want to purchase something, if you let me know, I can put those things on hold for you and get a shipping cost to you so we know how much that'll cost. Uh, this looks like a repurposed book as well, Friends Old and New. And that is the name of it. It's a repurposed book cover, 6.5 by 8.5, one signature, 48 pages. And um, doesn't look like she used any digitals in this one. So she's got some side pockets here. Um, by gluing the pages together in the book, she made a little side pocket there. And up here there's a top loading pocket. And then she's put some paper here so that you have a place to journal. And she put these over some of the words on the page so that you have a place to write in your own words. That's really a good idea on a repurposed book. When I saw this, I think I had this book when I was a kid. So I remember some of the images in here. So just lots of places for you to add your own little things. Again, that's friends old and new. So I hope you guys check out my shop. I hope you enjoyed looking at Barbara's journals today and got some inspiration. Maybe pick up, pick up a couple. Uh, we are into August at this point, and so we want to be thinking about getting ahead with our Christmas shopping and things coming up in the fall because it happens way too quick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Join me in the next one, and I hope you guys have a great day.